Hello everyone, Ray Waldo here, the Bishop of Technology, and uh, check our website, raywaldo.com, for more information or to leave any questions or comments about what we're doing here today. Today I'm uh, going to recover my Acer C7 Chromebook. I've had Ubuntu on here and I'm now going to remove it and clean the thing up and do it just like it was uh, originally uh, shipped to me. First off, you have to build um, a recovery USB disk. I've already done that and there will be instructions on my website how to do that. Uh, put it into the device and also you have to have the device already in the uh, uh, de the developer mode. So uh, now once, since it's in developer mode, once I turn the power on, it's going to come up in that developer mode screen. Okay. So when that happens, it says there, uh, the verification is off. When that happens, you hit Control U to boot from another device. It'll boot now from this device over here. And I'll move in just a little bit so you can see the, the uh, screen a little bit better, what's going on, because it's starting to come on. And uh, so here's what's actually happening. It's going to uh, check the validity of my, uh, or integrity it says, of my recovery media. So it's going through that process. And then after it gets through, then it will go through and rebuild the, the system on the uh, Chromebook. So this is going to take just a little while, but uh, let's see how long it does take. This is the first time I've done it, so I don't know. But I do want to recover the device to totally stock version so that when I go through and install Ubuntu step by step, you'll be able to see it in real time just the way it actually occurs. So uh, that's the process here is to clean it up and put it back. That's also a very positive thing that if you're working on the device and you do the Ubuntu thing, you get hung up somewhere, you can always go back to stock by using this uh, option here. I found that uh, once the device is actually operating, uh, there are instructions to, uh, to build this uh, USB disk, boot disk, either in, uh, on the Chromebook or in Windows or a Mac or also in Linux. But it looked like it just worked so much simpler just to do it in the Chromebook because the Chromebook then knows which version to download and it will download the correct version for you automatically. So that seems to be the easiest way to do it is while your device is working, go in, uh, go in and, and uh, create the the uh, device. Now it has to be at least, they say at least four gigabytes, it has to have a little more than four gigabytes is what I experienced. My four gigabyte devices wouldn't work. I had to go for it with an eight gigabyte. So it's just about through with the integrity check here. We'll see what happens next. This is a nice device. This little, uh, little uh, Chromebook, the C7 sells for $199 on the uh, Google Play Store and it runs a, a, just a Chrome browser. And that's basically all it does. It will do a few things offline, but what's really neat, it has two gigabytes of RAM and it has 320 gigabytes of hard drive space and it's a 500 uh, RPM uh, hard drive. It's not real fast, but it seems to work really well it works well with Ubuntu. It seems to work as fast or faster in Ubuntu than it does in Chrome. Uh, it's amazing and uh, the options that I have will install the Ubuntu version 12.04. Now there is a version 12.05 and there will be a 13.04 come out in April of this year. But uh, the, where I found my source it just has a 12.04. So that is not the very newest version, but it works well. I can't really tell any difference from uh, the older version. Okay, so the integrity check is finished. Now, uh, verification is turned off.
Now it says that uh, integrity mode, I mean the uh, 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 developer mode should be turned off, but uh, I'm not sure about that. We're going to go ahead and see what happens here. See if it'll still run. You've got to have the developer mode on in order to boot from that device. So that seems a little confusing. I found a number of things on uh, Chrome, uh, on Google's Chrome uh, the, uh, threads and uh, several places that were a little bit confusing. Of course, there are different devices. And uh, this is the, the Chromebook C7 by Acer. Uh, most of the things work the same, but not everything does. So you might have to be careful and watch what version you're running. It's still, uh, my device is still flashing, so it's still working, doing something. I'm not sure what it's doing, but it's doing something. So uh, we're probably on the right path here. I'm going to leave it run and uh, see what happens. So that gets you the full screen there and see everything that's going on. Okay, well, uh, we're just waiting now, so I don't know how long this takes. I've never done it before. Okay, the light stopped, just and it started up again, so I don't know. Stopped again. Uh, it's flashing every once in a while. It's not flashing a lot. Let's see. I would expect that this will somewhere along the way give us a, another screen and say we're going to reboot and everything will be hunky-dory and fixed and you'll be back in stock just like you were coming out of the box. But we haven't seen that yet. Now, one of the things that it's probably having to do is to rebuild that hard drive because I had partitioned the hard drive to put 200 gigabytes uh, under the Ubuntu system and 100 gigabytes on the Chrome system. So it's going to probably repartition that drive back to a full, uh, the whole entire drive for Chrome and nothing for Ubuntu. So all of Ubuntu will be lost when we're through, I'm sure. These are all things that I expected because that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to make sure that Ubuntu was cleaned off entirely. We could have gone through the process real quickly, but you would not have seen all the steps because a couple of steps get missed if you do it the second time. Primarily.